Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Delaney and I am going to be doing a video on wedding guest outfit ideas today. We have some weddings coming up that we're going to, so I was ordering dresses for that anyways, and it's wedding season. I know a ton of you are going to weddings, so I wanted to put together some looks to help us come up with outfit ideas. I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently than I do my other fashion videos. Here are all of the dresses that I am gonna try on for you guys. This color palette is amazing, first of all. So much satin too, like these dresses are stunning, but I haven't pre-styled them so I kind of just pulled a bunch of my go-to heels and accessories jewelry that I have right here and I'm just gonna kind of like live style them with you guys and we're gonna see how it turns out so needless to say it's gonna be great because the dresses are beautiful and hopefully this helps give you guys some inspo for the weddings that you're going to this year I tried to find some affordable dresses there's also some more like investment pieces in here so I'll link everything in the description box for you guys if you have questions you can always comment them um, if you have video requests you can also comment those and as always thank you guys for watching it means so much to me and also if you haven't already subscribed that means a lot too so let's get to it okay guys starting off with a bang this red dress is freaking stunning this is from the brand nookie i think that's how you say it and i think that's the right brand um, i got it off of revolve which is honestly a great place to shop for wedding guest dresses or like any dresses or any occasion because they have so much variety and they're really easy to do like returns for so pro tip but i love this like how stunning is this i love it i think that this would look great with red lipstick but i do not want to commit to putting on red lipstick right now so just envision that or if you're gonna wear this to a wedding i think with like a hair pulled back and red lipstick would be so stunning but for what we're dealing with right now i kind of think i'm thinking black shoes i think white would look good too but i feel like black's gonna make it a little like chicer okay love that these heels are from alias may you guys always ask sadly they are very old they don't make them anymore but i'll try to find similar to link okay i love that i think i'm gonna go with these like sparkly dangly earrings to kind of keep that classic like old hollywood energy my hair is not giving that at all right now but it's okay I could do like a marilyn monroe hairstyle with this too i think it would be pretty can you even see my earrings Okay, I love that. And then I have this little sparkly rhinestone bag. This is from the brand, I think it's called Kara. I always forget the name of this. I think this is cute, I love this. I think this is great for a wedding. Ooh, I don't like it on my shoulder for a wedding though. I almost want it to be like a clutch, but it's not, so that's kind of weird. I think just like this is best. Here's look one. I would say this is definitely more of like a formal feel to it. So a fancier wedding, of course. But yeah, I think that this is a great option. I will also mention it's actually very, very comfortable. I also love this one. This is so stunning. Also from Revolve, from the brand Elliot. I, say I went and grabbed these shoes from upstairs. I wasn't planning on wearing these, but once I put this color on, I was like, I need something else fun because this is already such a fun color. So these are Steve Madden heels. Oh, okay, interesting. They're gonna take me a minute to get on because they are lace up, so please hold. Also, I had to throw my hair up as soon as I put this dress on because I felt like there was literally no way to do it justice with the hair down. Just with this neckline situation, the hair must go up, which is actually great for a wedding. Okay, yes, I love these shoes with this. It's kind of like a sunset vibe. I think gold actually goes really well with this. I think I'm just gonna do these smaller twisted hoops, not the bigger ones. I don't know why. I feel like there is just kind of like a lot happening with this neckline. Even though it's like full coverage, it's got like a lot of material and I just wanna keep it like a little more simple up here. Then for bag. You know, I was thinking that I could do this little, this little yellow number. If I did this little yellow guy, I would take the straps off because that feels more like street style to me and I would just hold it 
this little baby bag or I was thinking since I have like a little bit of gold going on and it has this like sunset feel also do this clutch I feel like this has too much texture with this actually though I think I'm going with the yellow let me know what you guys think did I make the right decision there okay I love this I think it's so fun little Jack Muse bag which is where everything else was from and I love this I think it's so fun I think it's great for a wedding it's a little less dressed up than the last dress I'd say it's a little more casual I think it's perfect for a summer wedding because it's a really bright fun color this is a bit more like modest in terms of neckline there's not like a ton of skin actually anywhere there's this like kind of um, slit situation but it, it's, it's still pretty modest maybe even more so because I'm on the shorter side but I think it's really fun and different great option okay then I have this other like orangey red color I had to grab some more stuff from upstairs because I, I didn't have everything I needed down here, I guess. We'll start with this belt vision that I have. So this one is from ASOS, so it is a bit more on the affordable size side, I believe. I feel like it's pretty boxy though. It's not super flattering right now. And the like shelf for the girlies is a little too small for me. So I feel like it would be more flattering on someone who is smaller chested. But I have these chain belts. I think this can help this dress. Okay, so I have like a gold one and a pearl one. I feel like the plain gold one might be better. I don't even remember where this is from. It's a thousand years old. I think that definitely helped. It's still not my favorite of the ones I've tried on so far, I guess, but I think that it works. Like I said, I think on like a different body type, it might be better. I think the concept is really beautiful. Love the one strap. I love the satin, the slit. Also, this color in particular is divine. It's actually like a mix of the first two, like a red and an orange. And it's so fiery and so beautiful. Again, it looks great with the hair up, I think, for this. I'll just keep these little gold earrings in. And then for shoes, I think I'm gonna go with this just like nude heel. I don't know why I didn't bring these down. These are from White Fox. Okay, I think it turned out pretty nice, actually, with the little waist belt. For bag, I think I'm gonna go with this gold clutch little seashell this is from Colt Gaia yeah I think we're good I think this is a nice summer option it does feel a little bit more on the casual side again but I think that's perfect because a lot of weddings are more casual so here we go okay guys this one is a bit more on the dramatic side but it is so stunning if it was right place right time so you will have to know the vibes of the weddings that you're going to obviously but I picked this out because I saw it and I thought the color was so beautiful the cut is very unique but it is more on the dramatic side also I just used like some boob tape to help with this situation it's extremely like low cut and plunging again I feel like this is probably easier for someone who is flatter chested so maybe not the best dress for me but it is stunning i also would use some like fashion tape i don't have any to maybe like close this a little bit or just like keep this closer to my body i'm shorter torsoed so things like this have like some like space for me sometimes because it's not like taut all the way okay but anyways styling this again i think this looks great with the hair up maybe i should just keep my hair up for the rest of the video because i feel like it looks good with all the dresses for bag you know i don't really know where i'm gonna go with this one I really don't okay guys this is like too hard to like bend over and do stuff in this dress but I'm gonna do these black heels okay and then I am gonna grab this little black and white Chanel this is secondhand from fashion file I'm gonna kind of like fold this in to make it more of a clutch okay so kind of just like making it a little more elegant i feel like with the black touches i could do like all white with this but i feel like that makes it like too light and this makes it like a little more elevated and fancy this is also a little bit too long for me um i would have to get it hemmed if i were gonna wear this but definitely a unique option i love her for something fancier obviously too ah! this is one of my favorite ones so far I love this one. I might wear this one to Clayton's cousin's wedding that we're going to soon. It's so pretty. I would probably have to get this hem too. I'm so short. I believe this one is more on the affordable option too. It's from ASOS and I think it was under the bridesmaids dresses, but you know, that's something you wear to a wedding too. So it's kind of like 
you get what I'm saying. This is a, another satiny one that's obviously a theme here. Perfect for the summertime. This color is so stunning. It's like a nice minty, sagey, beautiful green. And this dress is incredibly flattering. I think it has, yeah, it has like two little boning strips right here. So kind of like corsetti and it's like draping. It's so flattering and it's got this beautiful slit. It's kind of like simple everywhere. This is the back. I think it looks great with the hair up. Again, you know, we're just, we're done with the hair down, I guess. For shoes, I think I'm gonna do white. So, look, I'm like drowning in this. These are also from Alias May. They're also really old and they don't make them anymore, but I'll try to find similar for you guys. Okay, yeah, I think the white looks perfect with this. Nice and crisp and light. I do have a plain white clutch, but I feel like that's like not working for this for some reason. So I'm gonna go back to this little guy, the Chanel. Wear this as a clutch. I also think maybe, not crossbody, but on the shoulder, long would be nice, this as a wedding guest. So yeah, this is a really good option and maybe even like a bridesmaids option if you're looking for that too. <gasps> I rushed this one a little bit and I already put my shoes on. But this is very similar to the last color. I think this one is from Revolve, if I remember correctly. I think that this is a great, like more modest option if you want something that really doesn't show a ton of skin. It does have like a little bit of a slit and it's sleeveless, but I think generally speaking, it's like a pretty modest option. It's high neck, um, but it's still super flattering. It's like nice and flattering around the waist. It's this beautiful color. Back is very simple. It's not like a full length, so I feel like it's a very nice mix between like super dressed up and more on the casual side. I feel like it's a really good medium. I just went with nude heels. I think that looks perfect with this color. And then hair still up. I think that looks great with everything. And my gold earrings are still in. And then I think I'm gonna do this little pouch bag from Bottega. I think I would hold it like this. So you can put the strap like inside. It wasn't a very good job of that, but you know, you get the vibes. It's like a little neutral pouch moment and we're good to go. I love this. I think it's very elegant and cheap. All right, this one is also similar in color. This is a beautiful one. I think it's from Revolve. Um, super stretchy, super comfortable, very flattering. Again, I feel like maybe if you're smaller chest, it would be a little bit better because I feel like it's just like, a little wide right here for me. I could wear like a strapless bra too, but I think that would show in the back. It would, so I'm not gonna do that. Back of it is really stunning. Keeping the hair, keeping the earrings. I'm gonna do white heels. Okay, love the white heels with this. I think I'm gonna do the plain white clutch. This has a silver chain. I'm still wearing my gold jewelry, so I'm gonna pop that in and then just hold it like this. I love this, I think it's super chic and elegant. It kind of has like a little goddess energy to it, a little, you know, Aphrodite vibes. All right, she's perfect, I love her. But if you guys don't already know, House of CB is one of my absolute favorite brands, especially for special occasions and like just the most stunning dresses you've ever seen. So <laughs> that's what this is. I love it, it's this beautiful purple color. It is. Like, these dresses will snatch you in. I wore one of these to my friend's engagement party a few months ago, and it's just like so flattering. It definitely like, snatches everything in. This one was not available. They have um, sizes that are like bigger cup size, which is like D through F or something, uh, D through E. They didn't have it available, but I still wanted this dress, so I got the normal cup size. It's a little small, I'm not gonna lie. I could definitely do the bigger cup size. That would be better for me but I still love it just how it is. I wear a size small on these and like I'm saying, it's really gonna like snatch you in, especially with the bigger cup size. This is like just a little too small there. So the back is like a little tight, I think. Did it zip all the way? I think it is, but it's a little tight. So keep that in mind. I have purple shoes. Like I have these little lavender shoes. I'm gonna have to go sit down and put these on though, but they're from Express. All right, so here's the shoes. They match perfectly, I love that. For bag, I really don't know what I'm thinking for this bag. Okay, that might do her. I like that, a little dumpling. It's perfect, it goes with everything. It can't fit that much, it's pretty small, but perfect for a wedding. All right, this is a, another House of CB dress. This one is a little bit more like pre 
fall it's like transitional it's also a little more casual because it's short i have one other dress in here that's short i feel like i always want to wear like something a little bit longer to weddings but i don't think it's ruled out to wear something short so i'm including these and i just literally love house of cb and have shared these amazing dresses with you guys definitely don't have to wear this one to a wedding if you want for something else but it's this beautiful like dusty rose color i'm gonna pair it with these nude heels i'm gonna go sit down to buckle them I love the shape of this dress. It's so flattering. Again, it's kind of like corset under here. So it's like snatching everything in and then it like flares out a bit at the bottom. Really cute. This is the back. And then for a bag, I think I'm gonna do this mini Jody from Bottega. Cute, I love this. So yes, a little bit more casual, a little bit more like transitional going into fall or something, but a really good option. Some weddings are in like colder places even in the summer. The one that we're going to is in Carmel. So it's honestly probably not gonna be that hot there but i think i'm gonna wear a longer dress for that but anyways i love her okay this is the last house of cb dress i have this is another shorty and i'm putting on these white heels with it okay so cute really kind of just like simple and a little bit more casual i would say i honestly think when i tried this on too i think it would look a little bit better if it was just like a tiny bit shorter too like that i think because i'm like on the shorter side i'm 5'4 it's just like a little long on me it's not like super long obviously i know that but i think it would just be like meant to be just like a little bit shorter like a little more baby dollish but it's this super cute sweet light pink color it's nice and like flattering fitted that classic house of cv snatch and i did the white heels kind of just like a little like baby pink light hearted moment i guess and then the black and white chanel again we're good to go for a casual wedding. I absolutely love this one. I think it is so beautiful. It is this gold metallic color and it's just really simple like slip dress. This one is from ASOS as well. I think it is um, pretty affordable and I'm obsessed with it. I just think it's so pretty and like interesting. It looks great with the hair up. It's kind of like a low back and it's literally just so simple which i love the color is and like the material is the moment more so than the cut so i really like that i think it's cool for shoes i'm actually gonna do black heels to kind of elevate it a little bit i would say i'm thinking of wearing this one to clayton's cousin's wedding this one or that other green one i might wear the one that was like the bridesmaids that's what i'm thinking now. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna do this bag again because this is the only bag that I have down here that's black. I don't really have like a black clutch, I don't think. This is a little black on it. I feel like this is perfect. I love it. This is definitely one of the most affordable dresses. I got this one from Windsor and it is very pretty. It's not like the most amazing quality of all of these because it is like the most affordable so just disclosing that but i think it can definitely look expensive if styled right so it's just like a nice like stretchy black fitted material and then the straps are this like embellished i think we need some like classic old-timey glam with this so these earrings are going on instead of the gold yes i like that i think for shoes Instead of black, I'm thinking white. Let's see. Okay, so I actually love this. I think this is perfect. It's so flattering, super comfy. I like this like pop of white instead of black. For bag, I'm gonna do the Chanel again. And all of a sudden, it's like a Bond girl. I mean, like, this dress was $40, you guys. I think that's pretty, pretty good. So, very nice, very dressed up, very fancy, I feel, and it's comfy. I might have saved the best for last. This one is so stunning. This is also from Revolve. It fits incredibly. The quality is so nice. It's so flattering. It's also really comfortable. It's just this beautiful, like, timeless, elegant, chic black dress, and it's got, like, a low back and a crisscross in the back it's absolutely stunning i'm just leaving these earrings on obviously my hair has been up for the rest of time and then i just put on black heels nothing exciting for bag like could this be a moment to have this little gold guy i kind of love that yeah 
I love that actually. All right, kind of like a bit of a wild card here, but this is like very simple. So I feel like even though I have kind of like this like silver detail with the earrings, this little pop of gold is very chic too. Kind of mixing metals with black here. This is so nice. Okay, let me know which ones are your guys' favorites in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.